I started as a dishwasher first. That was my first job. I made three bucks an hour. So after an eight-hour shift, that's roughly, that's, it's not a lot. It's not, <laughs> not too much. Uh, I never made it to waiter because my manager says, you don't got the stuff. I'm like, what stuff do you need? The busboy's harder, you know? I, I thought I should show my personality more. So uh, one day, uh, you know, I'd always talk to the tables, and he goes, hey, chatterbox. <laughs> so I was smoking inside. He goes, hey, don't talk to the customers. I go, they like it. And he goes, they don't, they don't. Just do your job. <laughs> so Father's Day comes around. It's packed to the gills, you know. I got tables 60 through 70, which is the hardest section everyone knows of the restaurant. It's not for amateurs. Uh, <laughs> you know, they wouldn't put a rookie there. Because I'm good. Because, you know, bus pulling, it's all back and spine. Um, so uh, the special of the day was shark. And so someone says to me, hey, how's the shark? And I go, oh, I have a motto. I don't eat them, they don't eat me. Right? <laughs> Can I talk to you? I go, <laughs> I go over and he goes, what did I just say? What are you doing over there? I go, I don't know, killing. <laughs> and he goes, they don't like it. I go, oh, is that why I'm getting applause breaks? I'm a fan favorite. So I wave over and I go, I'll be here all week. And he goes, you're fired. I go, maybe not. <laughs> You guys, a lot of people come to me and they say, Dave, are you a redneck in real life? You know, because of Joe Dirt, I get that a lot. They think I'm some goat roper. But it's kind of true, because I grew up in Arizona, and one sort of proof of concept comes to mind. I had a brother, Brian, that would keep rattlesnakes in a cage in his bedroom. So in my house with three brothers, you know, we are my two brothers, we had five rattlesnakes and a tarantula in a cage. How do we get these rattlesnakes, you ask? Well, they're usually in our yard. You know, because everything's gravel in Arizona, so we'd see him. One day there's a big fatty out there, and we're trying to catch him, you know. But, and people don't go, how do you catch a rattlesnake? It's not that hard. You have a two-gallon jug of, like, for milk, an empty one, and then we took two tennis rackets, and you pinch it behind the neck, and then you put the head in the milk thing, and it goes to the bottom, and it curls around, it doesn't know what to do. It can't get out. This is not foolproof, by the way. It's, just, it's sort of a life hack, like, don't call me on it. Um, so we're out there scrambling to get this uh, rattlesnake, just to make it an even six. And then my drunk stepdad comes home and he goes, what are you guys doing? And we go, we're trying to get this. He goes, you want to grab a rattlesnake? All you got to do is pick it up and you jam it in. And of course it honk bit him right on the hand because we always knew there was a reason we weren't just picking it up and putting it in. It <laughs> bites you and they're poisonous. Um, everyone forgets that part. And so he goes, I'm going to go take a nap. <laughs> I go, no shit, I bet you will. And then he went and laid down, he's like, whoa. And then he swelled up like the Michelin man, and he got all purple, and we had to wake him up and take him to the hospital. Anyway, moral of the story is, rattlesnakes, not your friend. I went to some nice restaurant in L.A., four stars. And I was sitting there thinking I was King Cock, and then, of course, they go like this. They're trying to whisk me out after a while. They're like, how was your night? These are the key signs. I go, it's still good. Did you have fun here while you were here and you had dinner? I go, I'm still eating. Yeah. And then they, the trick sent me a dessert. And I go, oh, thanks. Sent me a second one, swear to God. Get out. That's called Am's Gray. They give you 90 minutes. And then I look over, I see Fetty Wap. He's eyeballing my booth with his good eyes. I go, <laughs> I go, you want it? He outranks me? Yes, he does, sir. I just happened at dinner last night. I went to a nice restaurant. And when I went to order shrimp, sometimes I say shrimps, you know, just to see if the guy corrects me. It's kind of a dick move, but it's fun. And uh, last night it went on forever. Because I go, hey, you guys have any shrimps here? And he goes, uh, yeah, we have shrimp. <laughs> he politely tries to correct me, but he doesn't really say it. He just says it right, you know? And then I go, oh, can I get like four shrimps? <laughs> and he goes, yeah, we can do four shrimp. And I go, can I get five shrimps? <laughs> he goes, yeah, you can have five shrimp. <laughs> shrimp. And then I go, there's no way you could do 10 shrimps. <laughs> could you jam 10 shrimps on a shrimp's cocktail? <laughs> and he goes, well, you can do as many shrimp as you like. Shrimp, pa. We can't do shrimps. We can do shrimp. <laughs> he cracked. I knew he would. And that was my highlight. It's better at Cheesecake Factory. The guy's like, we got shrimps coming out our ass. What do you need? <laughs>